this is a topic uh, which most Christians um, are fighting it watu wengi wanapigana na hii lakini let me tell you that this is the truth that we need in this world amen bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen mimi sikatai kuna wale ambao wanatoecha lakini uh, mungu huyu tunamhubiri hapa ametusaidia na lazima tumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya madhabahu hii ambayo iko na neema ambayo si ya kawaida. Amen. Mhm. Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28 verse 8. Baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu zitakuwa mm. kama gala zenye za nafaka na katika shughuli zenye zote atawabariki katika nchi ambayo anawapenda. English The Lord your God will bless your work. The Lord your God will bless your work and fill your barns with corn. And fill your barns with corn. He will bless you in the land that he has given you. He will bless you in the land that he has given you. Hmm. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Kama utakalisha hiyo baraka, you need to dedicate it. Amen. Sio, sijui kama uliwaisikia watu wanasema anasemanga hivi. Kitambo mimi nilikuwa muombaji, kwani what happened? Kitambo nilikuwa muimbaji, nilikuwa ni naimba. What happened? Walikuwa na kipawa. Mm-hmm. Lakini hawakuifanyia dedication. So mm-hmm. someone somewhere killed it. Are we together? Yes. Pati Yesu sandaka ya makofi makubwa kama unabarikiwa. Hallelujah. Sema amen. Amen. Let's go to the book of John. John 10:22. John 10:22. John 10:22. Are we together somebody? Yes. Pati Yesu sandaka ya makofi makubwa. John 10:22 Uko Jerusalem mm-hmm. kulikuwa na siku ya kutabaru, kutabaruku English It was winter it was winter and the festival of the dedication of the temple was being celebrated in Jerusalem and the the festival of the dedication of the temple was going on in kanisa bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen bila inasema na sherehe ya kundedicate ekalu hili lilikuwa linaendelea mhm why are people not dedicating their lives aha uh-huh. Why are people not dedicating their families? Uh-huh. That's why una hata nashindia kusema oh tu, tunapambana na uchawi wa kifamilia kwa sababu ungekuwa umededicate. Uh-huh. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Anytime wanainua bato, wanapata Mungu anatokea unaachwa nyuma. Praise be to God. Amen. Vita zikiinuka Mungu anatokea. Wewe unaachwa nyuma. But because people don't want to do that. Uh-huh. Ndio unaona they are facing battles right left and center. Uh-huh. Ni kweli wao hawataki lakini inakuja tu. Praise be to God. Amen. Ukimaliza kundendicate una unakuanga jiwe nzito. Wakijaribu kukuinua unawazianga. Aha. Uh-huh. Praise be to God. Amen. Wakikuinua tu unawabonda bonda kabisa because it is not you ni Yesu Kristo. Amen. Are we together somebody? Yes. But Jesus andaka ya makofi makubwa. Hallelujah. Numbers 710. Numbers 710 understanding dedication. Understanding. Understanding dedication. Somebody say amen. Amen. Are we together somebody? Yes. Pati Yesu sandaka ya makofi makubwa kama unabarikiwa. Hallelujah. Say amen. Amen. 
Viongozi hao wakatoa sandaa kwa ajili ya kuiweka wakfu madhabahu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Viongozi hao wakatoa sandaka kwa sababu ya kuitia wakfu madhabahu. Chochote uko nacho na unakitolea sandaka. Uwa unakitia wakfu. Uh-huh. Praise be to God. Amen. So viongozi wakatoa sandaka hata wakati mtu ni pasta ana anajenda kanisa huwa unasikia tunaifanyia dedication wanaita mhubiri mwingine mkubwa wanampatia sandaka na ndiye hiyo iko hapo viongozi wakatoa sandaka praise be to god amen kwa nini walitoa ndio madhabahu iwekwe wakfu tuendelee Viongozi wa wakatoa sana kwa ajili ya kuweka wakfu madhabahu. Siku ile ilipo pa kwa mafuta. Mm. Walitoa sandaka zao mbele ya madhabahu. Mm. Mwenyezi Mungu akamwambia Musa, mm. Kila siku kiongozi mmoja mm. anatoa sandaka yake kwa anatoa sandaka yake kwa ajili ya kuweka wakfu madhabahu. Basi yule aliyetoa sandaka siku ya kwanza mm. alikuwa na shoni mwana wa Amina Dabu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Hawa wakapatiwa kazi kuwe na mtu ambaye anatoa sandaka ya dedication uh-huh. kila siku. Aha. Uh-huh. nakuambia dedication should be a progressive thing. Amen. Sio kusema mimi nilidedicateiwa. Sawa si uli, uli graduate ukatoka kukua kama mtoto, ukatoka kwa teenager, ukasonga ukakuwa mtu mzima. Uh-huh. Praise be to God. Amen. It is one thing to hear a revelation. It is another thing to put the revelation into action. Amen. Are we together somebody? Yes. Pati Yesu sandaka ya makofi makubwa kama unabarikiwa. Hallelujah. Are we together somebody? Yes. Pati Yesu sandaka ya makofi makubwa. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, let's go to the book of First King. First Kings 8 verse 61. First Kings First Kings First Kings 8 verse 61 Nanyi muwe waaminifu kwa Mwenyezi Mungu Mungu wetu mkifuata masharti yake Aha. na kutii amri zake zote hmm. kama mwanavyo hivi leo Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Amen Na nyinyi muwe waaminifu ukimaliza kujidedicate katika madhabahu useme kuanzia leo unaongea kama Joshua hmm. unasema mimi na nyumba yangu nitamtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu hmm. basi na nyinyi amueni hiyo nayo inaitwa dedication. Uh-huh. Unaamua sio mtu anakuzurutisha, sio watu wanakupigia makofi ufanye uamuzi, lakini unaamua mimi na nyumba yangu nitamtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Basi nayo Biblia inasema kuwa mwaminifu. Aha. Uh-huh. Praise be to God. Amen. Sio kufanya kazi ya Mungu uangaliwe, upigiwe makofi. Ukipigiwa makofi na mtu imeishia hapo lakini ukionekana na Mungu utapata baraka ya hiyo. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Alisema mimi na nyumba yangu tutamtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Biblia inasema basi muwe waaminifu. Ambia jirani kuwa mwaminifu. Kuwa mwaminifu. Praise be to God. Amen. There are things kama tutazielewa. We are not just we are not going to be normal. Christians hatutakuwa watu tumeokoka wa kawaida praise be to god amen there is a blessing in a genuine serving of the lord amen praise be to god amen unaweza ukafanya vitu mingi but behind the name you are seeking approval from a man that will amount to nothing that will yield nothing unto you uh-huh Be faithful. Isu umeamua kutumikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Bona pasta anaongea kitu moja, watu wasifanye hivi bado uko hapo. Wacha kuja ukiwa umetelewa bado uko hapo. 
Biblia inasema hivi na alaaniwe mtu ambaye anaifanya kazi ya Mungu kwa mikono ambao ni milegefu. Aha. Praise be to God. Amen. Hii kazi ya Mungu tunafanya kama hatutajidedicate kwayo instead of attracting blessings unto our lives it will attract curse. Biblia inasema na Mungu anapatiliza lahana kutoka kizazi cha kwanza hadi cha ine Unajua itakuwa hata afadhali aungeokoka. Afadhali hata haunge mtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Sema amen. Amen. Kama unajua hii ni mi nimeitiwa kufanya hii. Si upatikane hapo tu hata kama itaonekana ujinga. Ambia Mungu niko hapo. Praise me to God. Amen. Turn to your neighbor tell him hora. Value what you do in the church. Value what you do in the church. Muongeleje tena mwambie value what you do in the church. Value what you do in the church. Ndipata watu wanaangaliana tu na, na uki, ukifika kwa church unajuanga wale watu wa dedicated na wale wa dedicated. Aha. Praise be to God. Sasa yeah. unaona mtu vile anafanya unaona huyu anataka kuvuatwa. Mwingine hata ye yeah, anafanya kazi ya shughuliki ni nani anaona na hataki kusemwa. Huyo ni mtu amejipeana kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Mm-hmm. Praise be to God. Amen. Biblia inasema ya kwamba na toweni miili yenu iwe kama sandaka. Anytime you are serving God ukitumia mwili na damu. Aha. Praise be to God. Hiyo ni dedication. Are we together somebody? Yes. Are we together? Yes. Praise be to God. Amen. The Bible says this. Touch not my anointed. Praise be to God. Amen. Touch not my anointed. No matter what the devil is trying to plan. But because of you dedicating yourself to serve the Lord. The Lord is always protecting you. Hata kukatokea nini? Somebody say amen. Amen. Am I helping somebody? Yes. Kama tuko pamoja mpatie Yesu sandaka ya makofi makubwa. Hallelujah. Say amen. Amen. Proverbs, Proverbs 16 verse 3. Proverbs 16:3. Somebody say amen. Amen. Proverbs 16 verse 3. Mweke Mwenyezi Mungu kazi yako. Naye mipango yako itafanikiwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Mweke Mwenyezi Mungu kazi yako. Read in English. Ask the Lord mm. to bless your plans. Ask the Lord to to bless your plans plans and you will be successful in carrying them out and you will be successful in carrying them out then catch your plans unto the lord uh-huh. then catch whatever you are doing uh-huh. and the lord will make it successful amen. it is not your effort it is the lord who makes it successful amen are we together somebody Yes. Sema Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Nisaidie. Nisaidie. Dedicate your plans unto God. And the Lord will make them successful. Amen. I pray that you are going to understand this knowledge. Mimi naomba tu uelewe ufunuo huu na ufanyishe kazi. Amen. Anzia mahali tu. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Amen. The problem we have with Christian ni kwamba mtu anasikia vile inaenda anasema sasa mimi naisha kuwa Ha, anzia mahali praise be to god amen anzia mahali wacha kusema isha pita anzia mahali onyesha mungu hata mimi niko serious amen praise be to god amen jitoe kwa kazi ya mungu fanya siku moja italeta matunda amen praise be to god amen watajaribu wafanye hii wafanye hii lakini you will remain standing amen you will remain stable amen praise be to god amen Mimi nilisema kitu ina nitaisema tu hapo. When apostle was making that seed hile ya kibu. Mimi nilikuwa hapa nasimama na hii pulpit hapa. Kaniambia si nikutengenezee nikamwambia hapana mimi nataka nataka kulipa gharama. Na mimi nikaambia Mungu siku zote. Kwa sababu nafaa kuwa nikisimama na hiyo miguu nikisoma Biblia kanisani. Hata tukapata anjali I am sure 100% mungu wangu wezi nguzo. Amen. Praise be to God. 
Amen. Yaani unaambia una, unaambia Mungu mimi nimededicate hii hii miguu nimeidedicate kwako ni ya kusomanga ni ya kusimama nayo nisome Biblia naye Mungu anailinda si yangu ni ya Mungu Somebody say amen Amen Tulienda kucheza mpira pale Wewe uliweona mtu badala uumie mguu na umia huko Mungu amelinda hiyo anasema hii ilipatianwa kwangu Aha uh-huh. Praise be to God Amen Ambia jirani there is God in this altar There is God in this altar. There is God in this altar There is God in this altar Praise be to God Amen. Ukija wewe ambia tafuta kitu kwa kwa kanisa ambia Mungu, mimi nitakuwa nikifanya hivi. Wale watu wengine wakipata starehe chache, mimi sitaki starehe. Aha. Praise be to God. Amen. Wacha nikutumikie, nijitoe mwili wangu uwe sadaka. Tuko pamoja? Yes. Kama tuko pamoja mpati Yesu sadaka ya makofi makubwa. Hallelujah. Luke 2:23 Are we together? Yes. Am I blessing you? Yes. Somebody say dedication. Dedication. Katika sheria ya Bwana mm. imeandikwa. Aha. Kina mzaliwa wa kwanza wa kiume mm. atawekwa wakfu kwa Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Katika sheria ya Mungu imeandikwa ya kwamba na kila mzaliwa wa kwanza wa kiume atawekwa wakfu. Amen. How many firstborns we are having? They don't even know the dedication. They have never even come across the word dedication. Na wengine wakutana naye wanasema hii ni ile ukora tu. Si ukora na wanaangaika. Praise be to God. Amen. Nikwambia this is a revelation ambao Many people they are ignoring it. Praise be to God. Amen. Na salvation hii tuko nayo. Kuna mtu Biblia inasema na Yesu akamtoa mwana wake wa pekee. Someone was dedicated. Sisi tuna enjoy. Nasema oh, kuokoka ni free. Kuna mtu walienda kwa msalaba. Kuna mtu walipigwa midelete. Kuna mtu walitemewa mate. Ndio ukue hahea. Are we together somebody? Yes. Si wewe ujitoe kwa Mungu wale ile generation itakuja after wewe. Iseme kuna mtu kuna mtu ali, alipeleka habari zetu kwa Mungu. Mhm. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Utumikie Mungu mpaka sasa marafiki watoke wasema ai huyo mtu wachana na yeye. Ameamua kutumikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Amen. Are we together somebody? Yes kama unabarikiwa mpati Yesu sadaka ya makofi makubwa. Hallelujah. Romans 12 verse 1. Romans 12 verse 1. Romans 12 verse 1. Kwa hiyo, ndugu mm. zangu, mhm. Madam Mungu ni mwenye huruma nyingi. Aha. Na wasi kwa moyo wote. Mm. Mtoleene Mungu mili yenu kama tabiko iliyo hai. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Na wasi kwa moyo wote. Mungu mwe suba na ngoya kwa yombe. Toleeni Mungu mili yenu iwe kama sandaka. Iwe kama dhabiu. Mimi sijaiona mtu mmoja ametoa sandaka kwa kanisa. Alafu tukimaliza ibada unavuata pasta kwa vizu unamwambia nataka ile nini? Kwa nini watu huwa hawakuji? kani wewe ujiulizaji maswali. Uh-huh. Ambia jirani wakati mwingine fikirianga tu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Hey, lazima tu una, unafikiria kwa nini sijaenda? Oh, kwa sababu hiyo ni nimeipatiana kwa Mungu. Sasa it is not under my control ndio watu hawakujangi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Na waulizangi inaenda wapi? Uh-uh. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Anajua hiyo iko kwa Mungu. Ingekuwa hawajui hivyo, ungeona tumetoa mtu anakuata basi kwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Lakini wanajua kwa Mungu ukienda ni lazima uende na kitu. Kwa hivyo wao wanajua wakija hapo wameletea Mungu. Tuko pamoja? Yes. Uliza jirani are you catching the flow? Are you catching the flow? Praise be to God. Amen. Dedication. Are we together? Yes. 
Ampatie um, Yesu sadaka ya makofi kama unabarikiwa. Haleluya. Sema amen. Amen. Uh, let's go to the book of Deuteronomy 20 verse 5. Failing to dedicate anything anything that you are is giving the devil a legal ground to attack and kill it. Praise be to God. Amen. Ukikosa kudedicate chochote uko nacho, unapatia shetani green light ya kuua hicho kitu, ya kuharibu hicho kitu. John 10:10. The devil is a thief. He comes to steal, kill and destroy. Anaweza iba aje kitu kiko kwa mikono ya Mungu. Awezi akaiba ikiwa hapo. Praise be to God. Amen. Lakini ikiwa kwako Remember the devil was among the archangels. Kwa hivyo sasa hako na uwezo wa kuchukua na atatuma maanjendi wake itachukuliwa kama itakuwa dedicated. Amen. Are we together somebody? Yes. Pati Yesu sanaka ya makofi makubwa kama unabarikiwa kabisa. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Amen. Uh-huh. Then the officers officials will address the men and mm. say Mm. If there is any man here who has not just built a house but has not yet dedicated it if so he is to he is to go home otherwise he is killed in the battle something else will be dedicated in his house Bwana Yesu asante sana Amen Kama mtu watajenga nyumba na akose kuifanyia dedication kutatokea ba kutatokea kitu ambacho kitafanyika na ile nyumba itachukuliwa aha uh-huh. praise be to god amen hebu uliza jirani tangu tuanze hii message uko na vitu ngapi sasa hii tangu tuanze hii message uko na vitu sababu unajifanyia examination hii si kupatiana kwa hivyo si yangu hii uh-huh. kagari si kudedicate si yangu hii mtoto si kudedicate si yangu mimi tu nimeandikwa mimi ni mfanyikazi tu ninaangalia amekula si wako it is biblical mi, sio mimi nimeandika hiyo bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen sio yako bila sema kama atajenga nyumba na akose kuivania dedication basi kutatokea jambo mbaya mm-hmm. na hiyo nyumba itachukuliwa oho uh-huh. mimi nakuombea chochote uko nacho ukimaliza kukifanyia dedication katika jina la yesu kristo hata shetani akipitia pale hata kiona Manjendi wa kuzimu wakipitia pale hawataona baraka yako. Amen. Sema amen kama unabarikiwa. Amen. Are we together? Yes. Luke 2:21. Luke 2:21. Pati Yesu sana kaya makofi makubwa. Hallelujah. Siku siku nane baadaye mm. wakati wa kutahiri mtoto ulipofika mm. walimpa jina Yesu mm-hmm. jina ambalo ilikuwa imepewa na malaika kabla hajachukuliwa mimba aha bwana Yesu asifiwe sana amen huyu ni Yesu Kristo praise be to god amen na Yesu ambaye tunamhubiri even Jesus was dedicated why have we not dedicated our children Why have we not dedicated our shambas mm-hmm. if Jesus himself was dedicated? Uh-huh. Praise be to God. Amen. Unaweza ukaongea story ya wokofu sana. Lakini hiyo wokofu ikose kwa kusaidia. Aha. Uh-huh. Praise be to God. Amen. Kile unajua mwenzako hajui hiyo ndio tofauti. Hiyo ndio tofauti yako na yeye. Praise be to God. Amen. Dio mlina sema ya kwamba we need not to call conspiracy what they call it conspiracy. Uh-huh. Praise be to God. Amen. Ukitoka hapo unaba wacha ufala wewe unaongea at dedication nini? Wanaongea vitu all kinds of war. Lakini finally unapata wanapotosha mtu ambaye ameokoka. Praise be to God. Amen. Are we together mpaka hapo? Yes. Pati Yesu sadaka ya makofi makubwa. Hallelujah importance of dedication nitakuwa namalizia hapo importance of dedication number one, dedication sanctifies dedication sanctifies are we together somebody 
Yes. Kama unabarikiwa mpati Yesu sadaka ya makofi makubwa. Hallelujah. Dedication sang device. Jo nimekusomea hiyo script inasema na kila mzaliwa wa kwanza awekwe wakfu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Dedication protects. Uwa inalinda. Are we together somebody? Yes. Sema Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Nisaidie leo. Nisaidie. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Mwana wa Mungu wa leha. Mwana wa Mungu wa leha. Dedication leads to success. Are we together somebody? Yes. Dedication leads to success. Anything that you commit unto the hands of God. God will make it to be successful. The Bible says for I know the plans I have for you. Plans to make you successful. Praise be to God. Kwa hivyo ikiwa kwa mikono ya Mungu ni lazima hakikisha imefanikiwa. Kama tuko pamoja sema amen. Amen. Dedication changes ownership from man to God. You are not of your own. Praise be to God. Amen. You are not of your own. Dedication changes ownership from man to God. Are we together? Yes. Si Biblia ndio inasema touch not my. Si Biblia inasema hivyo. Mhm. Nasema na Biblia. Si inasema hivyo. Touch not my. I say me touch touch hata hiyo haiingiani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Yeah. Lakini nasema touch not. Kwa hivyo ni watu wa Mungu ndio tunaita watumishi wa Mungu, servants Amen. of God. Amen. Are we together somebody? Yes. Pati Yesu sadaka ya makofi makubwa. Hallelujah. Are we together? Yes. Dedication helps someone to follow you doing the right things kama umejipatiana kwa Mungu all the time utakuwa unafikiria nawezaje nikaongezea Mungu kwangu ni kitu gani ninaweza nikafanya kwa Mungu Praise be to God Amen Watu wako na kitu inaitwa anga wako na kitu inaitwa nini anga. anga Praise be to God Amen Na ndio nimekwambia hapa ukiwa dedicated kwa Mungu you will know you will find you doing the right things because any time you you does a wrong thing huwa unapunguza Mungu kwako ndio juzi tulikuwa na operation ya Holy Spirit watu walijazwa ukasikia wakiomba na ndimi ile siku wataanza kuenda hata hautajua hata sisi hatutajua tutakuwa tunakuita brother lakini siku moja utatoa kombora mpaka sisi zote tukae tukishangaa yaani unamaanisha ni yeye kwa nini roho alienda wakati alikuja tulijua wakati alienda hatukujua mhm mimi nitakuomba tu uombe hombi moja kama Daudi usiniondolee roho wako praise be to god amen na hii itatokana na nini na wewe ukiwa umejidedicate kwa Mungu kwa sababu vile umejidedicate utakuwa unasikia unapenda Mungu zaidi somebody say amen amen are we together Yes. Uh, Deuteronomy 20 verse 5. Dedication breeds optimism. Are we together? Amen. Dedication uh makes someone to lead a focused life. Praise be to God. Amen. Dedication inafanya mtu wakae maisha ambayo iko na mtanzamo. Ukishika kata put au au hauwezi kwenda kulega dege ambaye hauioni. Ni lazima uione alafu una una stretch wa kata put ndio upate kuinini. Praise be to God. Amen. Ukiwa umejidedicate unakuanga focused Naposa akasema juzi mtu ambaye amejidedicate ukimuona tu unajua mtu ambaye amejidedicate utaona akifanya vitu zake unasema this one yes Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Amen. this one no kwa nini Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Amen Na ya mwisho 
dedication make someone to be committed ile siku utaingia kwa chachi na kuone mtu wa mchezo hata yeye ni kama ajijui ujiwange huyu aja nidi aja jipatiana kwa Mungu he or she has not dedicated himself Bwana Yesu asiwe sana amen are we together yes na ya mwisho kabisa dedication makes someone to be careful to be extra careful praise be to god amen na yesa fanya hii nimkosea Mwenyezi Mungu na yesa fanya hii nifukuze roho na yesa fanya hii nikwaze mtu kwa nini praise be to god amen apostle jana alisema watu ni milango ya Mungu praise be to god amen Uja mtu wako hapo next to wewe anaweza kuwa ako na weakness kubwa. Lakini kubaliana na mimi tu Mungu aje kuweka hapo uangalie hiyo weakness. Sema amen. Amen. Mungu aje kuweka hapo uangalie hiyo weakness. Mungu amekuweka hapo usaidie huyo mtu kufanya hiyo weakness yake ikuwe strength. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Je mwimbaji ameimba akasema Oba wa Elisha is is a no gone zone for everybody. Unaweza sema hiyo ka weakness ako nayo Mungu akupanishie hiyo. Si useme amen hata kama tu umenguzi. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. That friend of yours unamuona hapo. Wacha wacha na hiyo madhara uko nayo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Inawezekana ndiyo ameshika ufunguo wa hapo hiyo mlango ukaribu kubisha. Praise be to God. Amen. Kwa hivyo, the moment you are dedicated to the Lord, you will always see the positive part, the positive side of that particular individual near you. Somebody say amen. Amen. Thank you so much our viewers from wherever you have been watching us from. Uh God bless you. Hapa ni Kings Club Ministry City na Yesu ni Bwana na Hapa ametusaidia. Nataka ufanye jambo moja useme ya kwamba mimi nimesikia messenger kumbuka nimekuambia factors affecting uh, factors affecting dedication nikakwambia ya kwanza ni ni priest kwambia uh, offering na nikakwambia altar an altar without offering is not an altar so sasa nataka mahali unanipata tu tumie kikapu hicho cha sandaka ambacho unakiona hapo na utume na sandaka yako hapo na baba wa mguni atakwenda kukubariki tumoja aniambie amen amen au sasa ukidedicate kitu uwesi ukawa dedicated kwa Mungu na wewe utapokea huyo Mungu ndio ukuwe dedicated kwa Mungu nawe you need to accept that God to be your personal savior Mungu hawezi akalinda kitu ambacho si chake uh-uh. praise be to God amen hata linda hata wewe ukapata pesa hapa na usikie ni ya mtu mwingine ameangusha utaanza kushughulika naye ni vile tu pesa uta, utakuwa tempted hautaacha uta, utachukua tu yake kwa mfuko praise be to god Amen. lakini kuna vitu unaweza pata hata hutashughulika mpaka mwenyewe akikuja ndio utaona anasikia hiyo kwa sababu ni yake sema amen, amen. so nasema nini kimaanisha hivyo kama hujaokoka sasa hata tukifu, maybe unafanywa dedication kwa mashetani Sema amen. amen. So dedication and salvation are two different things. Kwa hivyo you need to be uokoke then ndio twende kwa salvation. Somebody say amen. amen. Kwa hivyo popote pale unanipata ukiwa na hujaokoka, ningependa uinue eh, mkono wako mmoja mkono mwingine uwekelea kwa kifua chako. Sema Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Mwana wa Mungu. Mwana wa Mungu. Ninakupenda. Ninakupenda. Nisamehe dhambi. Nisamehe dhambi. Na makosa yangu. Na makosa yangu vuta jina langu vuta jina langu toa kwa kitabu cha mauti toa kitabu cha mauti uandike jina langu uandike jina katika kitabu katika kitabu cha uzima cha uzima wa milele wa milele kuanzia leo kuanzia leo mimi nimeokoka mimi nimeokoka na shetani umeshindwa na shetani umeshindwa hautaniona tena hautaniona kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu nimeomba na hata kuamini nimeomba na hata kuamini sema amen amen pati Yesu sadaka ya makofi makubwa My father and my god thank you because of my viewers from wherever they have been watching us from my father and my god let this grace preserve them in the name of Jesus Christ let this 
revelation jehovah god bring a, a hundredfold and to their lives in the name of the living god how i pray that your grace is going to be sufficient unto each and every one who is under the command of my voice in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god asante kwa uwezo na neema na jina lako libarikiwe na limidiwe nimetangaza watazamaji hawa na wasikilizaji baraka katika jina la yesu baba wa mbinguni asante ni kwa sababu umesikia na tayari umetenda kwa jina la yesu kristo bwana wetu tumeomba na mtu apate kusema amen. Amen. Pati Yesu sandaka ya makofi makubwa. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Mungu awabariki tutakutana hapo saa 5.